This video is sponsored by Advix. The journey of advanced technology starts and stops with Advix. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com for more information. I just opened up this set of brake pads. Inside, there were four pads. Well, the shape of the pad, it's the same for all four, but only two pads have the squealer on it. So where should the squealers go? On most systems, well, it's typically the inboard pad of the caliper. Why? Because this brake pad typically wears out first due to the caliper seizing under certain conditions. Also, it's normal for that inboard pad to wear more on a floating caliper. But this set of brake pads takes it one step further. These two brake pads have the squealers in different positions. Typically, the squealer in this case wants to be on the leading edge of the brake pad. So in other words, the rotor is going by here and creating that noise once the friction material gets typically worn down to two to three millimeters and it can change depending on the vehicle. But most of all, make sure you're looking at the original setup of the brake pads on the vehicle if it does have the original pads to make sure that you're putting the squealer in the right place. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.